In Psalm 51, we, we're very familiar with where David cried out certain things unto the Lord, like created me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me, right. and a restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Because David had broken the fellowship that he had with God. Uh, uh -huh. What had happened was, uh, 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 David, amen, was the king, and, uh, and there was a certain lady by the name of Bathsheba. And, and, and Bathsheba was married to a man by the name of Uriah. And Uriah was out in the battle, amen, against the Philistines. And, and while Uriah was out in battle of the Philistines, uh, Bathsheba would get up in the morning and go to the rooftop of a house and bathe. Uh, amen. And I believe she knew what she was doing, amen. And when she went to the rooftop to bathe, I believe she really knew David would be watching her. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And then David sat down one day and had her brought up to the castle. Amen. And in the process of time, uh, Bathsheba became pregnant. Well. And, and David wanted to hide this thing, so he sent a letter by the captain of the guard by the name of Joab. Uh, and, and told Joab that uh, uh, when you see your ride, you're giving this letter, and I want you to put him on the forefront of the battle that he might die on the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 Uriah would not go. He would come home and sleep at the footsteps of David and say, how can I lay, go home and lay down? Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. When Israel is at war. Uh, well, as the story went on, amen, uh, Uriah got killed and then Nathan the prophet intervened. Amen. And when Nathan the prophet intervened, he came up to David and said, David, that was a man that had a thousand ewe lambs. Uh, Amen. And then there was a man that had one ewe lamb, and the man with the thousand took the one ewe lamb. David said, uh, David, David said, well, well, well David, uh, do you understand? David said, yeah, I understand. And whoever this man is, yeah. uh, 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 he needs to be put to death. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. And, and Nathan said, well, you is that man. Yeah. Uh, and, and once David understood that, uh, that he had broken his fellowship with God, uh, he did something that a whole lot of us don't do. Uh, David began to seek for forgiveness. Uh, well, I wish I had somebody. Hey, man, we think we can live any kind of way and, and walk up before God and like everything is all right, but uh, you need to ask God for forgiveness uh, every now and then. Uh, uh, David was forgiven by God, so he understood God's forgiveness, amen, uh, and then David, amen, had to uh, move forward in life. Uh, but, but if you don't understand forgiveness, uh, you can't move forward. Uh, uh, Jesus said even before you come to the altar, before you come to pray, if you got ought against your brother, you need to go straight there out, amen. And he said if you can't forgive me, of that trust that I neither will he forgive you of your trespasses. Hallelujah, somebody. A whole lot of us need to grasp forgiveness because forgiveness is not for the one that hurt you, but forgiveness is for you. A whole lot of us walking around are carrying dead weight and carrying baggage all because they simply won't forgive somebody else. Forgiveness is a conscious, a deliberate decision to release resentment or the act of revenge toward another person. And so when you forgive, you don't have that leisure. You may not forget, but when you do forgive, you have to forgive and let that be. Hallelujah, somebody. You have to let it go, amen. And you have to learn to let go and let God. And because of David's situation, being separated from the Spirit of God, 
iniquity and whose spirit that is no end. When I kept my when I kept sight of my bone, waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into drought of summer. First thing we notice, the man after God's own heart. The man that, that, that played music, the man that loved praising God, the man that danced before God, all of a sudden find himself separated from God and he realized that is a need for salvation. Oh, God knew that we had a need for salvation. God knew all of us needed a soldier. We needed a savior because we could not save ourselves. And if you know God has saved you,
a whole lot of time. We don't understand what we're doing or where we're headed. But I'm so glad I got a God that'll leave me. And I made up my mind where he leads. I will follow. I made up my mind. I'm going to let Jesus lead me. Because he is a mighty good leader. I got everybody can testify that he led you to a brand new job. I got everybody that can testify that he led you to a brand new home. I got everybody that can testify that he led you to a place of peace. I got everybody that can testify that he led you to a place of joy. Somebody today who's happy today, they got the joy of the Lord and the joy of his salvation on the gift of God of praise and praise. I hear the Lord saying, I'm getting ready to bless somebody. All you gotta do is hold on to my unchanging hand. I hear the Lord talking right now. He's telling somebody, I'm going to instruct you. And I'm going to lead you to better things, better places, and a much better life. Give somebody a high five. Cause God is leading us. And I heard, heard him say, Be not as the horse or as the mule. Look at somebody.